Um, hello everyone. It has, it has been a while. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. I had, I had projects planned and they ended up taking longer. Either that or they just, they didn't work well with videos. A lot of that was just me not making videos. I, you know, I'm working on other things. But, 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 I have something cool for you guys. I, uh, I have a little tool for you guys to use and that's that's what we're looking at right now this is this is um, it's actually it's running on the GP before I say anything else this is this is a little different this is the first GPU ish thing I've ever gone into this is not a tutorial by the way I just want to say that this is this is more of a release than a, a tutorial it's not a tutorial at all I won't be showing you how this works but I will show you how to use it in a second once I you know get on with, with whatever I was saying Anyways, this is this is a nice uh, little debugger screen that I made. I needed it for another project that I made that I'm um, in the process of doing. That I will also be releasing here. I'll be releasing it for all you guys to use because it's it's a super useful. Um, hopefully, it'll be a super useful system or tool for you guys to use for in your um, creations or whatever. Anyways, what do we have here? We have a bunch of a bunch of data or not data, a bunch of registers in the GP are being displayed on screen. That's super useful, especially the stack registers. That really that really saved me a lot of time. As well as what do we have down here? We have procedure and debug ID, which is something I came up with. Basically, um, I made it so that um, if you send these are just variables that are being displayed, just you know typical variables. However, what happens or the idea behind it was that every you would give the uh, debugger because it's just one function that you call uh, that you would call to actually bring the screen up called graphics debug and the idea was that you would you would move um, a certain specific number to a variable or that you know is being displayed right here procedure if this is it's a procedure ID so like you'd move a number to the variable and then it's displayed on screen it's it contextualizes all of the rest of the data because it tells me where where we are in the program. Um, so, like, if you were to give I don't know every function a different ID and you run this um, and you run this debugging thing, you would know where you would know where you are in the program um, when you whenever you you know hit the debug screen or whenever you call this. It, like I said, it, it all it does is contextualize everything else. Debug ID. That was another idea, idea that I had to contextualize things further that was a little bit more automated. The idea was that um, every time it ran in a different section of the program, it would, um, it would give itself an ID. It's, like, it's basically an automated version of this. However, I didn't implement it because I just needed this to be done. So I'll probably comment that out. That probably won't be there in the, ver in the, um, in the source that I actually put up on github but uh it's fine it's fine it's fine it was a, it was a good idea i might investigate it later now aside from all the registers you see down here all the data you could see which this is this is just super useful for me anyways for you guys it'll probably be useful as well all, all literally all it does is just show data six um six uh values per line it does clip off at the end here if the values are too large i apologize for that but it's fine it's it's it, it gets the job done and yeah, that's really all that that's really all it does. Let me show you guys how to use it in code, actually, because that's that's what'll be more that's what'll be important. So what you do, hold on, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna you know. Anyways, to just to make things a little bit more simple, you know, uh, we're gonna I'm gonna copy this because I'm, I guess this is a variable. It's gonna be useful in a second. I'm gonna get rid of this. And what? All you need to do to bring up this screen is, well, aside from the usual asynchronous stuff, like you need to set up this, of course. Um, this will all be in the file, so you don't, you won't need to do any of this manually. I will just upload this file. But all you would need to do, in theory, is call this uh, function I made called graphics debug, and then everything on the screen shows up, and that's it. That's really it. Now you're probably wondering, hey, how do you change? Uh, what memory is being displayed? That's a great question. You see, there's a variable called uh, debug print memory offset, and what you do is if you move, uh, if you move a certain value there, let's say I don't know, like a hundred. If you move a certain value there, that'll set that that'll now that'll change what memory is being displayed. 
which is really nice. That's super useful. So now, if you've noticed, more different memories being displayed than there was before. Of course, you can you can have it a little. You can have it be. Um, you can have it scroll through memory. So add. Uh, there's like six uh, things per line because we want to go down one line. So there are six values per line. So you'd add six to them instead of ten. Originally, it was going to be ten, but you know that's a bug I didn't want to go into. I can only fit six at this um, at this font size. And you can see it's it's really pixelated even at that size, so I can only fit six per line. Even if it gets cut off with big numbers down here, but it's fine. It's fine. So anyways, you can have it scroll. See, that's 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 really cool. And I hope I hope you guys will uh, find uh, good uses for this, because I you know, I sir I certainly am. <laughs> I wish I had this earlier. Uh, let me. Yeah, I believe. Of course, um, since since I I've never done a GPU tutorial, so I'm just gonna go through a few things. Don't change any of this if if you don't know how to if you don't know about GPU. But I will say this is this this is the frequency because there's no frequency input with the GPU. This is the frequency. Yeah, um, so you just 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 make this just make this bigger and it'll run faster. Of course, there's a there's a limit. It's there's a built-in limit to it, but I'm not sure what it is. And it can run pretty fast as well without lagging at all, which is really cool. It's very fast. Uh, is there anything else? I'm gonna, I'm gonna return here or make that just so the file looks a little bit less ridiculous. Uh, I believe that is it. I believe I'm probably forgetting something massive. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a link. There's a link to this in the description below. Um, to a GitHub page where it's all at, and and you can find some of my other stuff. It's literally like nothing. There's like five files there, maybe. <laughs> oh man, I should really, I should really make more things. But yeah, there's this, and there's another advanced example. Um, that's there. Yeah, sorry about the no tutorials thing. I've just been, I've been dealing with other things. However, I think this is cool. You guys hopefully have fun with this. I really, I'm really interested to seeing what you guys can make with this so if you if you if you want to share it please do actually I'm really like I said very interested in seeing what you guys will make with this but anyway that's all for now <laughs> I'll, I'll hopefully I'll upload again before another four months have passed <laughs> it, might, it might be more than that I'm not actually sure I'm, I'm pretty sure it's four months but yeah <laughs> So long, everyone, and I hope you I hope you guys find this tool useful.